Hello, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will be using my iPad and the Apple Pencil. I purchased it like two or three months ago, but I still haven't got the hang of it. Mostly because I haven't set to practice than anything else. And the screen protector that I have for the iPad is glass completely, so it's kind of slippery to draw on it with the pencil. As you can see, my hand has kind of an awkward way of holding the pencil. It's because I don't want to make direct contact with it, because it gets a little hot. And because even though Medibank has a palm rejection, I still use my hand to zoom in and out for the drawing and it will be very uh, <laughs> very difficult to having to activate and, and deactivate the palm rejection and stuff so I just leave it on I like to color it I feel that in the iPad screen I see the colors more richer and saturated than in my computer screen or in my Cintiq even though I can adjust the color temperature and every other things in my Cintiq I still quite don't get the true colors or well it always depends on screen because my phone has a different screen resolution the iPad has one my computer my Cintiq the TV where I can connect my laptop and it kind of gets messed up so I always try to get like very bold colors so in this occasion this speed paint is for uh, draw this in your style hosted by Lumi home she is an artist that makes a lot of beautiful stuff art of her own original characters I really have have never seen too much fan of her I follow her on Instagram and Twitter even though I don't really use Twitter too much but I still follow her so uh, the Apple Pencil. This Apple Pencil has to be rechargeable and the battery usually lasts me at least two or three days. It's just been one occasion where it was at 5% and I had to quickly go and charge it. I charge it directly with the uh, power bank, not with the iPad because mm, I think it's kind of difficult if I want to use the iPad to watch videos or something else and the person will be sticking out and that will be kind of awkward so I would rather not do that I charge each, each one of them separately and it just takes like 40 minutes to, com to fully charge the Apple Pencil the iPad is the one that gets at least 2 hours where I leave it charging but just if you get into a very low battery percentage like 12% or 6% per se uh, I really besides my wear grip I think it's very comfortable I don't have a protector for it I really haven't seek out too much or haven't ordered anything from the internet in the box where I bought it it came with one replaceable nib and the uh, converter or <coughs> or uh, I lost the word well just the little piece that let me charge it directly with the charger of the iPad and the only thing that I have is that sometimes I get kind of confused I tried to use the back side of the pencil as the eraser like the Cintiq pencil but I have to real I have come to realize that now I do it less but oof, in the beginning guys every single time I was flipping the pencil over and touching the screen with the back side I was like wait no this doesn't do that the only thing that I kind of guess found difficult is that there are no express keys or <laughs> like any kind of key or bottom in the iPad everything has to be done manually so that's why you see in the video my hand moving very forward and back touching every single thing to like adjust the color adjust the brush size the layers like it seems kind of uncomfortable but mm, you will get used to it because it's the ipod 2018 it's not very big 
it's it's quite medium i don't feel it's a small i i been way more uh way more i've been joining way more smaller places where it feels awkward but this one is is a good it's a good size plus the price i think it was a good price like 450 dollars for the ipad 2018 with 128 gigabytes of space which is a lot of space i was kind of concerned where i could get one with the with a large space amount because this as we all know cannot get cd cards and put to them so i will try to sign everything via email or icloud to my computer and then to a backup driver hard driver to not lose my videos or drawings so I will just leave the rest of the video like playing at full velocity I will have liked to do this screen record thing with the iPad but I totally forgot and I was way past half finishing this drawing when I remember that I wasn't recording with the iPad so I will leave that but in some things that I weren't too combined I changed some of the eye and I do have that recorded with the screen so you will see that soon uh, thank you for watching the video 